Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to compare fractions with the same numerator, the same top number. We will go through a few examples together and then you'll try some practice problems on your own. Let's jump into number one where we have one half and one fourth. So reading this comparison from left to right, we have one half is greater than, less than, or equal to one fourth. So which fraction here is greater? Now if fractions have the same numerator, all we have to do is compare the denominators, the bottom numbers. The fraction with the smaller denominator is greater. So looking at number one, we have two big chocolate chip cookies here to help us out. Both cookies were the same size to start. We are looking at what fraction of each cookie is left. Let's start with this cookie right here on the left. This cookie was divided into two equal parts. One out of the two parts is left, so our fraction is one half. For the cookie on the right, so this cookie right here, this cookie was divided into four equal parts. One out of the four parts is left, so our fraction is one fourth. Now, just by looking at the cookies, we can see that one half is greater than one fourth. There is more of the cookie left for one half than there is for one fourth. But how does that work? because both cookies have one part left. So how is one of these fractions greater than the other? Well, it's because of the denominators. The cookie on the left is split into two parts, so the parts are bigger than the cookie on the right, which was split into four parts. Basically, when we have the same numerator, we can compare the fractions by looking at the denominators. The larger a denominator is, the more parts a whole will be divided into. Therefore, the parts are smaller. The smaller a denominator is, the fewer parts a whole will be divided into. Therefore, the parts are larger. So if we have fractions with the same numerator, the fraction with the smaller denominator is greater. Those equal parts of the whole are larger. So we have more of the whole, a greater portion of the whole. Now remember, the comparison symbol always opens up towards whatever is greater. So our symbol goes like this. And we can read this comparison from left to right as one half is greater than one fourth. Let's move on to number two, where we have five eighths and five sixths. So reading this from left to right, we have 5 eighths is greater than, less than, or equal to 5 sixths. We have the same numerator here, 5, so we can just compare the denominators. And let's think about this. We are looking at 5 parts out of 8, 5 eighths, and 5 parts out of 6, 5 sixths. So the wholes have been divided into eight equal parts and six equal parts. The whole divided into six parts will have bigger parts than the whole divided into eight parts. Since we have the same numerator, five, we can compare the denominators. Six is the smaller denominator. Five sixths is greater than five eighths. Five sixths represents more of the whole. So our comparison symbol goes like this. And we can read this comparison from left to right as 5 eighths is less than 5 sixths. Lastly, let's move on to number three, where we have 2 thirds and 2 eighths. So 2 thirds is greater than, less than, or equal to 2 eighths. Well, we have the same numerator. 2, so we can compare the denominators. The fraction with the smaller denominator is greater. Well, 3 is less than 8, so 2 thirds is greater. And this makes sense. We have a whole divided into 3 equal parts compared to a whole divided into 
eight equal parts. The whole divided into three parts will have bigger parts than the whole divided into eight parts. Two thirds represents more of the whole than two eighths. Two thirds is greater. So our comparison symbol goes like this and we can read our comparison from left to right as two thirds is greater than two eighths. So now that we've tried some practice problems together, it's time for you to try some practice problems on your own. So here are your practice problems. For numbers one, two, and three, you have comparisons. And then for number four, find the comparisons that are correct, the comparisons that are true. There are multiple correct answers for number four, so see if you can find them all. I'll give you two minutes and then we will go over the answers. Go ahead and start. Okay, so that's two minutes. Let's go over the answers. So here are the answers. For number one, you should have four sixths is greater than four eighths. For number two, you should have one half is greater than one eighth. For number three, you should have three sixths is less than three fourths. And then lastly, for number four, you should have B, one third is greater than one eighth, D, five tenths is less than five sixths, and F, seven eighths is greater than seven tenths. So there you have it. There's how to compare fractions with the same numerator. Compare the denominators. The fraction with the smaller denominator is greater. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.